On this RV decor series, we're gonna be talking poo noodles. They're not just for your pool. I have made quite a few videos where I talked about different things that poo noodles could do, and they're in scattered throughout quite a few videos. So I thought today on this RV decor series, I would just do a pool noodle video because when it comes to your RV, there is a lot of ways to use this thing. Now, our Dollar Tree sells these all year long. We, you don't have to just get them in the summertime, but there are so many uses in the RV, inside and outside, that you can use a pool noodle. Maybe you'll learn one or two new ways that you didn't know of today. Pool noodles are easy to cut and you can make them any length or size that you want. One way that I have used pool noodles is you can take your tension rod and put this on there. You can put these and cut them and put them on your tension rods. Tension rods, I have them all over the place to keep stuff from popping out of the cabinets when you're driving down the road. And if you have something, we're not supposed to put glass, but if you had some glass or something that you were afraid would break, you can actually cut these, put them on your tension rods, and it will keep them from banging up or scratching something that you have in your cabinet that's up against the tension rod. Over here at the microwave, you can cut a pool noodle and make it the right height, wedge it in there, and this will keep your tray from jumping around and maybe breaking while you're traveling. Out here, you can use a pool noodle you can just put a slit in it and push it onto your slide. If it's a slide where you hit your head a lot or if it's low enough for me, I don't have issues with this. Bill has hit his head on this before. And when we're parked, I put a pool noodle all the way across this to keep him from hitting his head. Another place that people put, we never have done this, but I know people do it. You cut it and you do the same thing and put the slit in it and then you put this on there so that if you're walking around you won't hit your head on your hitch and if you get bright colors it keeps you from hitting your head on anything else around the camper just think of all the places that you could probably cut and put one of these now i keep quite a few of them cut up like this basically if you have some stuff inside your refrigerator you can use these to wedge an item, it keeps it from moving around or sliding on travel days. But you just wanna cut up a bunch of these on different sizes and you can use them, whoop, you can use them in your refrigerator to secure items and make things more snug. And I do this in the pantry as well. I actually have this piece that holds our doors open. I saw on a website that you could use these to help hold your doors open so that when you're not using the refrigerator, it doesn't mildew. We have the little clip. I don't know how you would attach this to this refrigerator to make that work, but I did see that somewhere that said that you could do that with a pool noodle. These next things are things that I've never used the pool noodle before, but in my research, it said that you could do these. If you have a manual awning, a lot of people showed using these on the arms to bring attention to them because people hit them all the time. I remember our old RV that we had probably almost 20 years ago. It had manual. I remember hitting our head on those. So this would be a good way to draw attention. You would just snap this on the arm so that nobody could hit their heads or people could see it. Another thing, we don't have a motor home and we never have, but they said that you could use this on your windshield wipers when you're parked somewhere to keep from ruining your windshield wipers. We've never had a motor home, but quite a few vlogs that I read said that that was a good way to use pool noodles. Another thing that would be a motor home related, they showed where they took these, cut them small, and stuck them on the bottom of their blinds so that when they rode down the road that it didn't bang and you could hear that. I know this was a short RV decor series about pool noodles, but I just wanted to update you and make sure I put all the pool noodle packs in one place. Till next time, like and subscribe.